in 2017 it was declared the number one cause of human suffering and disability just a lot of me i'm always thinking trying to solve your cheaper questions kilo then no be only you walk i come but i'm moving man at the fucking play fuck me i'll cut hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Oligoma. It took me a while to finally get myself to make this video. So today we are going to talk about depression. Everybody knows of depression, though not everybody knows that it's real. So today we are going to talk about that, how you as a person dealing with it can cope and how you could maybe help out a friend that's dealing with it. maybe. Someone told you, oh, I have depression, and you don't know how you could be of help, or you don't even know what it means, or what to do, or what they're going through. You feel like you don't understand. Um, I'm going to split this topic into two videos. This will be the part one, and then I'll get done with the part two soon. So today, we're just going to talking about the meaning. What does it mean to have? <coughs> It's a very sensitive topic you know <clears throat> so what does it mean to have depression what are the symptoms things to do when you are depressed things not to do when you are depressed and habits that can help you manage the situation okay so I split part one into that part two will be talking more on anxiety and a couple of other things I've been on research for so long like I've been reading up articles watching videos to just gather more information on how um, one can really cope with it what people think or people that have been like treating this issue what they think because I can't go to a point where I felt like okay something happened and I'm like okay this is my final stop I had to like dig deep into it because I'm like if you're stronger than that girl let's get right into it in this video I'm going to try not to talk um, much about my personal experiences and stuff but just know I'm speaking from experience okay okay when I say I've been researching let me even show you guys this is what my research looks like those tiny tiny writings so it's quite a lot but I'm going to try to make this video not so long let's start by what is depression okay it says major depression is a mood disorder that affects the way you feel about life in general so it's not a matter of oh things you go through or I'm rich or I'm poor anybody can have it so far you are capable of having moods like we know what our different moods are you can be angry sad happy meh you know just like the emojis you could have like different moods so as far as you are capable of having different moods you are open to having mood swings and you are open to having mood disorder so majorly that's like almost all of what depression is it's a mood disorder um having a hopeless or helpless outlook on life is the most common symptom of depression that's the most common symptom there are a lot of symptoms but that's the most common and they feel I think people say like when you get to that stage where you feel like you're about to give up or you're having so much negative vibes that is when you should reach out to your doctor or a therapist or something so you say stuff like it's my fault maybe something happened um it's my fault what's the point I should have I shouldn't have so majorly yeah depression is like I feel like it's a build up of the past 
things happen in your past. Everybody has a past. And trust me, if I had to all come and say, oh, you stay, you feel like, no, I've been through the worst. Life has been like the meanest to me. Blah, 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 blah. If you hear somebody, someone else's story, you'd be like, oh, wow. Life has kind of been fair to me. Like, I mean, there are people going through worse. Trust me. But I'm not saying, oh, because there are people going through worse, that you are maybe like weak or you are like not strong enough to be getting depressed. Like you're not strong enough, that's why you're getting depressed or you didn't do something right. So majorly, like, like I said, it's my fault. I shouldn't have, I should have what's the point so i'm not going to try to make you feel like oh it's my fault that i have depression no it's not okay it's not most time most times by the time you find out you have it it's kind of too late you dig and majorly it's not about what happens to you it's about how you interpret what happens to you so let's say something happens and you convince yourself that oh this shit happened because of me and you keep beating yourself up on that that's an example depression is a cruel disease that can affect anyone like i already said it is very easy once the symptoms begin like once you start seeing symptoms of depression it's very easy for a person to slide down the black hole of depression where the symptoms spiral and feed off of each other increasing in severity right so this was said by Mitchell London um sorry the light is in my eye and I can't get really rid of my book so this was said by Mitchell London, where I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, Memorial Hospital in Chicago. So she said depression is a cruel disease that can affect anyone. And once she starts seeing symptoms, like we have several symptoms here, yeah? I'm going to tell you guys the symptoms soon. So once she starts seeing the symptoms, they start feeding off of each other and like dragging you further into the black hole. Someone has said. Depression is technically considered a mood disorder, right? I said that already before. And then they said it's, but it's far more than that. So I said it was a mood, a mood disorder, but it's far more than that. So now we're kind of breaking it down for people that don't understand what it means. So when you just feel like, oh, you can't be depressed, you have everything you want, you have everything you need, you're yeah, like really rich, you're yeah, like this, you're like that. You have a perfect family, you have a shut the fuck up. Like just don't say that. Don't say that to anybody that tells you oh I come to me and say I'm depressed and you start giving me hey, shut the fuck up. Okay? So it's like it can affect anyone. It doesn't care what your status is, what your life situation looks like, or whatever. Um so it's a mood disorder, but it's far more than that. Its tentacles affect your physiology, your physical health, cardiovascular disease, that's like art conditions, um, your ability to think and make decisions, your ability to function at work, concentration, and relationships so it does affect it's like it's a mood disorder but it doesn't just affect your mood now you see the picture so I think that's one of the things that makes people going through depression kind of like a lot to handle a lot to deal with or whatever 
but if you really care about somebody and they tell you oh this is what I'm going through I feel like you should know like actually know what they are going through because understanding is key yeah? so I can just tell you this is what I'm going through but you don't understand what that means you would probably just leave it off and be like some people see it as a serious problem but it actually is there was this part where okay it actually is it says in 2004 in 2004 who declared depression as number four cause of human suffering and disability behind cancer heart disease and traffic accidents so as at 2004 if you see what are the top four causes of human suffering and disability you'd say cancer heart disease traffic accidents depression right but then they predicted that by 2020 to be number two in 2013 so in 2004 it was number four but by 2020 by 2013 they were like by 2020 it's going to be number two right but guess what happened in 2017 it was declared the number one cause of human suffering and disability so by 2013 they were like oh by the year 2020 it will probably be number two but four years after it turned out to be number one I can't remember where I kept this stuff but there was a way I calculated it and it says like three out of hundred people you come across are going through it so now it's like a lot a lot of people are dealing with it just people that look very strong and joyful there's a saying that goes like check on your strong friends it's actually true like people I feel like people should learn to be more empathetic and be more kind because you really don't know what someone is going through if you don't even want to be nice you don't want to be kind then just avoid people don't like pass up negative vibes Tell people can actually stick to that because it's crazy like the amount of violence on the internet now is crazy when you have depression treating your symptoms isn't something you can easily overcome you simply can't wait it away and decide to feel better one day this one goes to everybody that will be like when you tell them like oh you're like oh i'm having depression and they like snap out of it oh that's a really nice idea how come i never thought of that Like, you can't just wiggle yourself out of it. You can't just decide, oh, I don't want to be depressed anymore. That's not how it works. No, it doesn't work like that. Just like if you're sick, maybe you have like a very, maybe you have malaria, let's say malaria, for example. You can't just decide, oh, I don't want to have malaria anymore without doing something about it. Right? That's how it works. So it says like treating symptoms is something you can easily overcome. That's the sad part. That's how we have people that have been depressed for years. They'll be like, okay, so when I was a kid. Just kind of stuff. So like sad reality check. I already said this. It isn't what happens to people that increases their risk for depression so much as how they interpret and respond to what happens to them and then i said what kind of meaning you attach to the events happening in your life what kind of meaning do you attach to the events happening in your life hmm? there was this um interview i was watching with a doctor i kind of have his name here Dr. Michael D. Yapo or something. Y A K P O. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation of his name. So he was like, 
when they were conducting research they went to people that had been through the worst like lost all your family in an accident um you lost your leg like terrible terrible things happened to these people but they were not depressed why but they were, they were realizing that people that it's not that they haven't been through shit but it's not as terrible as some others but still they get depressed like we said it's not about what happens how do you interpret what happens how do you react to what happens there are several causes of depression and illnesses would get to that in the part two of this video but now we're going to talk a little about the symptoms so like what are the things to look out for that you feel like oh shit i think i have this shit forget the word but the persistent feeling of sadness or loss Changes the sleep, appetite, interest level, energy. So we should also note that being unhappy isn't the same as being depressed. It's not like depression is a term often used loosely to describe how we feel after a bad week or work or when we're going through a breakup. So something happened, maybe you had a really bad day, you you broke up with somebody and then you get really unhappy you feel really sad and you feel oh no I'm depressed it's different like there are two different things okay there are two different things that one would pass depression doesn't pass you get the difference so it's like a persistent feeling of sadness. One minute you are having fun with your friend, y'all are laughing, next minute you are so moody as hell. What happened? Why did your mood change? This, 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 is that. I don't know. Right? So like, changing sleep, energy interest level concentration daily behavior it could be either changing sleep you can't sleep or you're always sleepy or you have restless sleep it's always one of those when it comes to depression for your mood you have anxiety apathy general disorientation Guilt, helplessness, loss of interest or pleasure in activities, mood swings or sadness, loss of pleasure or interest in activities. I used to love working out. Like, not used to, I love working out. But there are times when I'm like, I have to work out today, but. Maybe if I had a coach that would drag my ass out every morning, that would be nice because it actually helps. Exercise, like, regardless of the type, even if you're just going to jump ropes 10 times every morning, it helps keep your body in check. It helps manage depression. It does. Channel that pain elsewhere. Don't hurt yourself, but do the no pain, no gain technique if you feel like you're dealing with pain. Like I said, don't think I said it, but everybody deals with it in a different way. Most people do. So back to the symptoms. We have, um, it affects your behavior, I said. How does it affect your behavior? Agitation, excessive crying, irritability, restlessness, social isolation. So sometimes 
you feel like you feel like you are extroverted yeah you like to go out you like to have fun but all of a sudden you don't feel like it anymore you just want to be alone because you're sad because you're feeling kind of way you're tired you don't know what's going on you don't know what's gonna happen next this is this, this that, that, that. that's a symptom baby I'm not talking about oh something maybe you had a bad week at work and now you're like no I don't want to go back to work I want to quit oh, that's a different case okay but like we try nothing really changed but something changed I don't I really don't know how to explain it but people that are going through it would know right so I'm really trying to break it down for people that don't know what it feels like what it's like right so how it affects your whole body you can either have excessive hunger so when you see people adding weight that is this is why I find it irritating when people comment on people's weight I feel like this is the major reason why because how it affects your whole body excessive hunger or loss of appetite fatigue so it can either be excessive hunger or loss of appetite so that your friend that you haven't seen in a while has been dealing with dealing with it hard and then all of a sudden you see the person and you're like oh my god you had it weight oh my god you lost so much weight shut the fuck up they can see themselves in the mirror i'm pretty sure they don't need you to affirm it or remind them of whatever the fuck you think you're doing right so please and please if you're watching this video try not to comment on people's weight a really bad thing to do so most times when you see if you are going through it and maybe you just don't know why you just lost your appetite you don't you don't know why you use um um appetite boosters blah 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 but still you don't feel like it and you get hungry but you don't feel like it and yeah or you're just always hungry that's more I feel like okay I feel like I can't go to anybody but I feel like if you like food that's where you lean towards because we know food is bay right so you're just eating 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 always eating yes it makes you happy it's good it's fine that's why I said exercising helps so even if you have like loss of appetite when you walk out trust me you'll be hungry you would eat if you're having excessive hunger when you walk out you feel weak you be like okay i'm not eating a little now or you eat but you're still keeping your body in check any any size or shape it's perfect you just have to be healthy that's all that matters okay symptoms in the cognitive form we have loss of concentration slowness in activities Thoughts of suicide. Have you ever thought of it? Honestly, be honest. Like, I'm tired. I feel like I should end it now. If you ask me, yes, sorry. But that's the point where you know you need help, right? If you can't afford a therapist to someone so those are like the symptoms in the cognitive sense you either lose concentration you are slow in your activities or you are thinking of it then for the weight we already talked about that weight gain or weight loss so these are the symptoms to look out for of course anxiety is part of it but that's like another topic on its own right so we'll talk about that in part two so like if you have any of these symptoms you know oh shit or it probably could not be 
that's why you need to talk to someone but if you are thinking of it it definitely is and you have to talk to someone please right now that we already know the symptoms we're going to talk about the things to do things to do and things not to do okay so things to do get a thorough things to do when you are depressed as what i'm saying get a thorough physical examination and level with your doctor that's why i said before if you can't afford a therapist then talk to someone if you can go for examination talk to a doctor right avoid alcohol completely strive to learn about your vulnerabilities and develop ways to manage them what are your vulnerabilities so when you know when you know what you're vulnerable to like when you are depressed like what makes you vulnerable you have to realize them and find a way to manage them so let's say I don't like to be outside how do you manage that get a movie if you have to be outside of course you can avoid it or you have to go for this you have to work if you don't work you can't eat so you have to do things oh my god I have this accent from this movie I'm watching now you have to work but anyways it's going out this out by the way anyways um, I was saying you don't like to be outside so get a movie watch a movie listen to music whichever works for you whichever um works that's why they say find a way to manage it so if what's going to work for you is talking to people laughing hanging out just in whatever whatever it is find a way to manage it right I think I mentioned that in the symptoms or excessive crying part of the symptoms you find yourself crying a lot lately shy guys they tell you oh you should be a man men don't cry blah 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 blah, blah. but then you go to your corner and you just you can't you can't <sighs> or maybe you are even holding it back but you are feeling that way every time it's a symptom puppy right so like know your vulnerabilities learn how to manage them learn to distinguish facts from feelings beliefs from fact you have to know like how to differentiate what this is telling you from what this is telling you right believe from fact or you believe that oh if this happens this is going to happen say a fact though right so most times i feel like people that are depressed they overthink something so while you are doing that overthinking actually do it right because you can't avoid it here but just do it right <laughs> i need to stop with this accent <laughs> coping mechanisms making jokes in my head but anyways so things to do strive to sleep well once you start losing sleep things could start going south so strive to sleep well Pfft, there's a lot for you like YouTube is actually a full college there's a lot you can learn on here so maybe you don't you can't sleep go and check on youtube um things to help me sleep better or just check for they're like this um i don't know what they call it but those sounds you play the wavy vibe you could find the apple music too they actually helps don't mean play music or plugging my ears in music or like playing music to an increase like not so high but 
just having music in the background helps me sleep. So if that doesn't work for you, you could try the other. So like, just make sure you try to sleep. If you can't sleep during the day, sleep at night. If you can't sleep at night, try to find time to sleep during the day. Challenge yourself. How do I know? You know, I already said it's not about what happens. It's about how you interpret what happens. So challenge yourself. When you tell yourself, when you convince yourself that, oh, this is why this happened, ask yourself, how do I know? Like, let me give an example. Okay, you call somebody and the person doesn't pick up. And you convince yourself, oh, they don't love me. I'm not good enough. I'm not worth your time. I'm not worth the attention. I'm not da 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 da. But in the actual sense, the person was charging the phone somewhere and was elsewhere busy with something else. But you just called once and you already told yourself a lot of things like, oh, trying to explain why the person didn't pick up. You get. So ask yourself when you start saying, "Oh, I don't know, I mean, how? How do you know, baby? How?" When you are giving yourself those negative vibes and reply, tell yourself the other side of it, like, "Oh, maybe the person's phone got stolen. Oh, maybe the person is busy at the moment." Make sure you put those facts in. Don't just assume. Don't just go with your feelings and like da 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 get so like strive to exercise regularly I said that already do fun things and do them often you know sometimes I feel like life is shit life is this life is that but still there are things that actually make you happy aren't they the things you do and you just time just flies this is that so do fun things do them often when you feel yourself sinking deep into that hole you're going to. what do you like to do ask me what do i like to do now watch movies i, I like watching movies now a lot <laughs> so like you, you catch me watching if you, you're around me you, you catch me watching movies a lot because mm, it's a fun thing for me to do now i don't like to party i don't like to go out i'm not i'm i'm extremely introverted right i like to work out but my my mood hasn't been letting me do that. When I wake up and the vibe is all meh. <laughs> but what can I do? That, what do I like doing that won't stress me? Watching movies. You also could be hanging out with friends, going out, you know, going to the beach, playing games. What? What's one fun thing you like doing? But what are the fun things you like doing? Make a list of it and do them often. That way you give your mind something to be happy about, something to look forward to, right? Um, get and stay connected to others. Another important thing, please you do not want to be alone. You like being alone yes you probably want to be alone fine but don't be alone in the sense of being alone reach out to your friends reach out to family talk to people occasionally don't just go off the grid okay i think there's somebody you can trust tell okay this is what i'm going on and probably need you to check on me once in a while trust me they would because people i feel like a lot of people care about you a lot you might not realize it but a lot do so they do care they just do not know that we are going through this they probably do not know how to help and for people that don't know how to help someone going through it just reach out to them once in a while leave messages send memes recommend movies just just keep them involved so they don't just be in their head like all alone in their head just me myself and i I learn to relax and I just work, work, work. Be goal oriented in important areas. 
have your goals but make them realistic goals get support get help don't wait okay even if it's what you're doing now just going to check YouTube videos it's kind of like getting help get support which which the people but do it now okay so now we're going to talk about the things not to do things not to do when you're depressed don't don't dwell on the past it's gone but tomorrow hasn't happened yet in the past this happened oh it will continue to happen don't don't dwell on the past what has happened has happened and everything everything happens for a reason right so don't dwell on it tomorrow hasn't happened yet tomorrow can be different tomorrow would be different just that tomorrow might not be like actual tomorrow it could be like a couple of years to come so it could be different it would be eventually amen so yeah just don't dwell on the past just work on work on making tomorrow better okay don't compare yourself to others oh lord do not compare yourself to others the internet has like really fucked up that part but please don't not everybody shows what's actually going on online that's why when you see people crying online you're like how can you take your shot how can you take the camera and cry in front of you shut the because when everybody's showing the fake things it was like oh my god goals oh i want to be like that it's when they show the real life things that people do with you be like let's say if the camera stops recording would you start crying all over again because you might feel like oh you're going through the worst and the person you're comparing yourself to is one deal with more than you can ever imagine but abraham lincoln said you have to do your home growing no matter how tall your daddy was right that still falls out, like don't compare yourself to that but you can't say oh because my dad is my dad was very tall i'm going to be you have to do your own growing my dad was very successful you have to do your own growing we see that you copy our dad is rich she did her own growing understand probability that's like don't assume oh this probably happened because of this probably happened because of this because of this give yourself facts okay i'm trying to make this video short um don't leave important things unsaid or unresolved you have something you really want to say like i used to have that issue like i don't like confronting people and then it just keeps eating me inside but don't leave important things unsaid if you feel you need to get it off your chest do get it off your chest if you feel you need to resolve the situation do resolve it don't leave it unattended to so you don't kill yourself inside um don't ignore reality get the facts i'll keep saying it get the facts get the facts don't just depend on your feelings get the freaking facts okay don't analyze too deeply move on oh lord i'm guilty as charged something happened and you're just doing your xyz oh shit i should have i shouldn't have i should i should i thought had a, mm, no 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 like most times when i cut myself to that i'm like snap out of it or like distract myself like stop just shut the fuck up like talking to myself shut the fuck up but yeah like you don't want to be analyzing too deeply into things that already happened you're thinking of things that already happened and now you're saying oh i should have i shouldn't have i should no baby no it, it already happened just leave the past in the past move on okay move on don't ignore your own needs self-care is not the same as selfish do not ignore your own needs you're always helping out people you're always like you're always there for people what what have you been there for yourself things you do for others did you do for yourself guilty as charged 
recently I started writing a lot more for me because things I do for others but I don't do for me <laughs> this equation doesn't look balanced <laughs> so I had to start focusing more on myself self-care is not the same as being selfish baby it's not okay um don't give up or be passive do not please don't try again but do something different don't isolate find good people to be with don't leave time unstructured i had to set an alarm to get this video started because i know i know that when if i didn't do that i'll just wake up in the morning and like it's it's 40 a.m. now just wake up like 6 a.m. and I'm like oh shit tomorrow procrastinate procrastinate I have been doing that all month this is 20th of March <laughs> I've been trying to record this video since the first of March and a lot a lot has been going on here so it's been like but I finally did it and um, we are bringing this to a wrap. So now I'm going to tell you things that have been working for me to manage it. Because sadly, there's no cure, right? So we will get drugs to manage it. Some of us have to find coping techniques, coping mechanisms, right? Meditating, meditating actually helped me. It did. At times when you just have to get your head clear positive affirmations that's what youtube is that's what youtube is for you find it just search it out right talking to someone about how you feel can help me too so that's why i kept saying you watch this video from beginning to the end you i kept saying talk to someone right talk to someone um be around people with positive energy run away from negative vibes run my brother or my sister run <laughs> but seriously avoid maybe you're somewhere and you feel like you get negative energy somebody only gives you negative energy avoid avoid it please you don't need your situation getting worse just be around people that give you positive energies or positive vibes bad energy stay far away so watch the kind of company you keep and I feel like another thing that has helped me is like having something to look forward to right that is where this um I would have to call it tarot readings but like the zodiac sign thing so there's this girl I follow Labruja Barbie it's like L A B R U J A B A R B I. I probably write it somewhere on the screen. So I follow her and she gives like daily readings. She used to do Monday to Saturday, now she does Mondays to Fridays because she's taking the weekend off. Um, so you know your zodiac sign. She gives daily readings and like 99.9% of the time, it's things I can relate to. So maybe you're actually going through something now and then you go on a page and you see something saying something related to what you're going through telling you how to maybe how to cope or what to what not to do or what to look forward to those kind of things so it won't hurt to like know your zodiac sign um take readings don't pay for readings please because there are a lot of people that scam in that sense like like Labuja she's dealing with a lot of um fake pages and shit so don't pay just there are a lot of things you can see for free on Instagram just find pages like that I think that that has actually helped me because when I'm feeling really down and it's just something to give you a little hope or something to make you feel a little bit better or something to make you understand what you're going through it's always one of those um 
I've come to the end of this part one video I'm going to continue talking more on this in part two so you can check out my channel for the part two <sighs> well whatever the case may be just know you're not alone right and you are good enough you are modern enough thank you for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it i'll see you in the next video bye for now